if we can get a average member of the public to understand where that beer came from and understand what went into it so that they'd be a little more motivated and just a little more knowledgeable to know how to support the farming population, that's the goal of the project. The difference between getting from eight cents a pound to 15 cents a pound, that's the difference between them saying, you know, I might not grow any grain at all this year and I would love to grow grain this year. My name is Stephen Bramwell. I work with Washington State University Extension and the agriculture program. Um, I'm a, what's known as like a county agriculture agent. So I do work on local problems and one of the taglines is working with local communities to solve local problems. The problem has been there, if you were to grow all that, do you have a market for your grain? And that's one of the things that WSU Extension here in Thurston County has been working hard on is to, to see if we can get a market going for the grain. The ground to glass encapsulates this idea of taking uh, the germplasm out of the WSU barley breeding program, getting it out into the fields, and seeing if there's unique flavors and qualities that could be of interest to local brewers and distillers. I do think if the average person knows that you know this stuff is grown locally, it might give us a little bit of opportunity to grow a little bit more. That's the whole the whole point of having locally produced product is to use local local input. And so that's what this brew fest in Tumwater is really all about: is supporting the farmer. I think that's at the core of it.